Hi crypto fans, welcome to CCS Crypto Currency State. My name is Santiago Mewell, developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover my airdrop register application. I launched an airdrop application on the 1st of January, and we already have more than 100 subscribers into the app. And today we are going to review the new updates and features that I have been doing during all January and beginning of, G of February. So in this video, we are going to go step by step on all the updates that I did on the application. We are going to cover the application again, just in case that you didn't saw it. But if you want to know exactly what I am talking, you need to go to cryptocurrencystate.net slash subscriptions. And there you are going to see, I have two subscriptions right now for my YouTube channel and my application. One is for my Discord, where we have more than 100 users also, where we cover all different airdrops of my videos and airdrops that are not covered by me in my YouTube videos. And we also are behind all the distribution rewards and everything related to airdrops. And also in crypto in general, we also cover portfolio strategies, trading strategies and all that. So we are managing really, really interesting and valuable information in my Discord. So you can subscribe to my Discord or you also can subscribe to my application. So if you want to know how basically my application works, I already have a video here. This current video, I will post it below this one with the updates of everything on how my app works. But at the end of this video, I'm going to do another review of how my application has been working and why if you are following airdrops daily or weekly, my application will really, really help you to keep everything on track of what you are doing. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications and without anything else, let's get into it. So guys, this video is primarily for my users of the application, but also for you that you are following this channel for a while and you are not sure if you want to enter into my Discord or use my application, this video also will help you to understand that. For no means, I want you to subscribe here if you don't need anything of what I have been creating and sharing here in this video. So please don't feel the pressure. I will continue posting daily videos with the step by steps like I do always on my YouTube channel. But this application, this Discord, if you want to move your, your game into the next level, you really need to do this. The application and the Discord are two tools that have been pumping a lot, all what I have been doing myself in terms of airdrops, applications and distributions, and many testimonies on my Discord about that. The people is really happy there. We have a lot of members there that know a lot about the airdrops and the crypto space. So I am really proud of what we are managing on the Discord and really proud of my application. I have been working six months on this. I launched it the 1st of January of this year. So it has been only one month and we have more than 100 subscribers to the application. So that is why I am keep working and keep updating the apps and all the features that I am covering right now in this video are all part of the feedback that I received from the users. So I am really hearing what you want and I am applying to that. Also, if it's your first time, you have my airdrop organizer. The link is in the description. Here I put all the links and information about the airdrops that I have been covering. And when I have some airdrop distribution, I will mark it as red. So you don't need to do it if it's already late. So get into the airdrop organizer if you want to do all of my airdrops and videos. Here you have the step by step and my YouTube video to do it. So remember, now let's go into the updates of my application. Remember here you have the link and the app of how it works on a basic level when you first register. So you can check and see that video first if you want, or you can see now the updates that I did and then a review of the app. So the first update that I did guys is we added the ability to add comments on each airdrop. So this could be good if you want to take notes of something, get a reminder, or if you do something extra on the airdrop for you to note it. So this functionality is at the airdrop level. So here we are in my wallet section. So let's say that I go to this wallet. You can put the name that you want, of course. And let's say that I just added Lamina 1, which is the last airdrop that I cover. So you can enter there and now you will see this at the comment section. At the time of recording this video, we are on the 3rd of February. So right now, if you start to type here, for example, do not forget to do the crew three tasks. 
You can see that while I'm typing, you can see that already says February 3rd of 2023 and the message. Right now, this is correlated in parallel. So let's say that you want to say this. You can see that there's no the send button. So you cannot pump this comment into the comment section. We only can put one comment per day. So that is why this will be continue being able to be edited. So if I go out of this section, let's say that I come back to airdrops. You can see that if I enter again, you are already still have the text here. So during the, the current day, you can type anything that you want here and all this, it will belong to the February 3rd comment. So if you are okay with, with what you wrote already, so you just click save and this will save the comment for now. But in order to have it pump it here, you need to wait to the next day. So this will be prevent us to have multiple comments in the same day. I don't want you to start putting a chain of comments with all the dates and everything. So doing this way, I think it's better. So you don't have any send or click on the comment here to put the comment on your comment section. And guys, this is how you're going to see it after some days. So you can see I posted this the 1st of February. This is the 2nd of February. And right now this is appearing here on the 3rd of February, but I still can edit this. So I can still write in here and you are going, like I mentioned, seeing here. But tomorrow, if you save the comment, of course, you always need to save the comments here, save the application. You are going to see it already pasted here. So that is how you can add comments here in the application and how the comments work. You are going to have only one comment per day. The second feature that we added is we added the complex copy clone airdrop functionality. So you can now copy all your airdrops from one wallet to another wallet in a couple of clicks. And when you do that, you can select multiple wallets as target. And also you can select if you want the airdrop progress or add comments to be copied to. So this is a functionality on a level of a wallet. So go into the wallet. You can see here, let's for example, check this. In this wallet, I have the TT protocol airdrop already covered with all the tasks done and the sales swap airdrop covered with only one task done. So let's copy these two airdrops with the progress. And if they have any comments, we are going to copy that into the other wallet. So go into wallets. Here you can see there's an icon of copy. So let's click the wallet that we want to copy. So click here. And here you have the list of all the airdrops that you have there. You can select one and select it or select multiple airdrops that you want to copy at once. And here you have your, your target wallet. So let's say that you want to copy these two uh, airdrops into this Santiago test wallet. Of course, you can put multiple target wallets, like as I said. So this will help you a lot if you are using multiple wallets and you have like a main wallet where you did all your airdrops and you are doing the airdrops also in another wallet. You can just can copy this from one wallet to another and get all the information correctly. So let's copy only that. And you can see that when I click this text box, something changed in the comment there because of course, Let's say that I want to transfer this with the activity. Without clicking this, all the airdrop picket will be entered important into the wallet picket. The previous activity is not going to be deleted if your wallet has already this airdrop. So maybe you already have this airdrop in the target wallet and you don't know. So in that case, if you don't transfer with the activity, it's not going to be overwritten. The same with the comments and all that. So let's say that I want to move everything with comments or all the progress. So now you can click on confirm and that's it. You go to Santiago test wallet now and you can see we have TT protocol also sales also and the progress is still copied also with the same information. So you can now click on here and save the information and you already have this in this wallet too that you can see here. The third change that we did was uh, we edited the recurring task if you complete a recurring task one, the first time it will be in green. If one week passes and you don't do it again, they will turn on ye a yellow orange color. And if two weeks passes without doing it again, and so the first time, then it will turn red. So the recurring task, for example, let me add the trader show in Arbitrum airdrop. We have seven tasks here. The last one is a recurring one. So let's say 
that I don't know the first of February I did this recurring task the first time when I save this and I go to the airdrops here you are going to see it in green but this is a recurrent task so you can do it multiple times let's say that today I am going to do it again so you can see now there's two times that we did this you can see here when we did it but let's say that now I did it the 1st of February now they did it the 3rd of February but now the time passes and in one week if I don't do it again this is going to be in a yellow orange color instead of green because it's a recurring one the ones the tasks that are one time only are going to keep green forever after you did it and mark it as did and if two weeks passes since the last time that you did it it's going to turn into red again so that is why it's a recurring task is you need to do it one, at least one per week let's say you can do it whenever you want but the app is going to tell you between weeks and finally we also review the one time and the recurring task on all the airdrops loaded there was some confusion confusions and errors on the data loaded there on the airdrop so we fixed that and some other general tasks that were fixed so we work on these five things during all the month of January mainly in order to get off this application with the updates. So now everything is live in your application. If you are already registered, you can use the new functionalities, put comments, copy and clone and use all the new stuff. That will be all guys for this video. Now, if it's your first time here and you want to know how my app works, I'm going to give you a quick tour so you really, really know how to work. So the first time that you have the membership, you go to members and airdrop register app. So the first that you need to do is add a wallet. So you can call your wallet like the code of the MetaMask address, or you can put the name that you want. But basically click and add, put a name, let's say Chrome MetaMask wallet one. Click on add. So here you added your, your first wallet here you can edit the name if you want or you can cancel and delete this wallet remember if you delete it everything that you have inside all the activity is going to be loose so in this case we don't have anything but you can do that after you do this something if you want to save it you need to click this disket here this is going to save all your changes when it's in red means that you have unsaved changes so click it and this will pump your saving information into your user registration so now it's in black so that means that you don't have anything pending to save this icon is a wallet so each time that you are in another part of the app if you click here you come back to, to your wallet so once you created a wallet you can click the wallet and now you need to enter your airdrops so click add and here you have two things to do you can add an airdrop to the wallet from the ones that I already did in my videos. So each airdrop that I have covered it, that is around 60 airdrops already, is going to be already preloaded in this app. And each time that I post a video, the application is going to get that information and put the airdrop here. So each time that I launch a video, you have your airdrop already here. And also you can do your, your own airdrops. So you can create your custom airdrops. If you are doing an airdrop that is not covered by me, you can still go and create your own custom airdrops. So first let's add a couple of airdrops that I already did. So here in type, you can see that the drop down appears. All these are my airdrops. You can just select one here or multiple airdrops and click on add airdrop and you are going to see the list of, of airdrops. Or you also can click on add and search it. Let's say, for example, you want to search for Arbitrum. Arbitrum, so you can search it there and add Arbitrum there. After you select all the airdrops that you want, you just need to click here and save it. And let's say that you want to do one airdrop. So let's say you want to do a slingshot. Click on a slingshot. You have here the first tag and a little of the comment of what you need to do just in order enough to know what you need to do but if you click this icon you are going to see the full text and the links of where you need to go and what you need to do so this first tag is follow them on twitter so you click here and you are pop up into the twitter so you need to click on follow once you did the task you just need to click this and click on save so you already first did the first task if you come back to airdrops you can see that here the first one is in green so you already covered that task 
let's go back let's say that you do this and this let's save it and if you go to airdrops which is this icon you can see we are three of seven tasks already done for this airdrop and now let's say for example the last tag which is download the app and use it too so this is a recurrent task because you need to download the app and you need to do transactions in the app until the, the airdrop so we have two types of task the one-time task like follow them on twitter you only need to do that once or the recurrent task like this one using the app so let's say that today you have a calendar here the 3rd of february you mark this task and you can see you have a button here where you can click and see how when you did it so this is a recurring task the one that has the circle here click on save and you already know this is a recurring task let's say that you also did this the 1st of february so you move in the calendar and you click here so you can see that was done two times now let's save this and if you come back to the 3rd of february which is today at the time of recording you can see that you already did this two times now the recurring time you need to do it at least once per week so now if i go to the airdrop you can see that the recurring task is in green but if one week pass it and you don't do it it's going to turn into yellow and if two weeks pass it it's going to turn into red again so remember that recurring task you need to keep doing them the other ones this is another recurring task the others are only one time task so in this case you also need to do the task four which is use the app swapping with volume so that is also a recurring task for this airdrop you need to do the one time task that i already marked it and these two are going to be recurring tasks save there and now you can see that slime shot airdrop is done completely and keep doing that let's say that you want to add a, an airdrop for your own so you should click here put your custom name and now you need to add the task so let's say task one go to the app of let's say the new address uh, airdrop is that put a link here let's say that is one time or recurring time so if one time you need to leave this click if not just unclick it and click on add task so you can see here is a task now let's say swap on xxx put the link and click add task and follow this so you are going to put all the tasks that you want for the airdrop once you are satisfied what will you have these four tasks click on add custom airdrop and you can see you have your custom airdrop here works the same way so if you have one time task it's going to be like this and if you have a recurring task it's going to be like i already mentioned you also can leave comments here for example do not forget to do the crew tree task this is the new functionality that i already covered in this video and all that so guys that is how my app works this is going to help you to follow all the airdrops you can see in the airdrop organizer i have 60 airdrops here all of these airdrops are already loaded in my app so you can go and do them there and you are going to keep track of everything that you are doing here and this is going to work you for multiple air airdrops and multiple wallets right now this is only one wallet but i can create a second wallet and i can also copy what i did here into the second wallet so let's click here on copy i will move all the airdrops that i did and i will transfer all the activity and comments of each airdrop so i selected all the airdrops and my target wallet so i click confirm and when i go to the second wallet you are going to see all this copy here with the progress that i did so guys that is how my app works it's going to help you enormously to keep track of all the errors that you apply even if are mine of my youtube channel or not you can get your custom airdrops here too so guys that is all for this video if it's your first time here go to the subscription page the link is in the description check how my app works you already saw this that will be all for the video follow me in twitter at crypto state and like the video subscribe to the channel click the bell to get the notifications and i will see you in the next video bye